What's it like a, a little kind of change of pace? You guys are practicing in, indoors today, maybe a little bit more kind of preparation for what you're going to see in San Antonio. Yeah, uh, it's kind of trying to prepare us for playing in the bowl. Um, a little bit different than what we used to doing, so I'm just trying to adapt to it a little bit. How have the, the bowl practices gone so far? I know you guys kind of started things a, a little later this year, and a lot of the guys said that, said that it's kind of helped uh, keep, keep you guys fresh and have fresher legs coming into bowl season. Yeah, it was nice uh, having that little break, you know. Uh, after the last game, we played a regular season game, having a break uh, before we got into the bowl practices and things like that. Uh, yeah, just trying to remain fresh and then come out here and play hard, practice hard, prepare for this bowl and get this last win. How does not having school contribute to that, like, fresh mentality? Oh, it's, it's, it's a huge thing. Uh, I don't think uh, people actually realize how much school plays a factor in our day, you know. Just having to go from that then on top of practice, you know, we're able to more focus mainly on football. So I like it. <laughs> Everyone we've talked to to this point really seems to be buying into that idea of setting a school record by potentially getting that 11th win. Gardner was the first player to really go public with that, but collectively as a team, when did you all really start just discussing that, do you think? Um, you know, actually, honestly, it was when um, we realized we couldn't win the, go to the Pac-12 championship anymore, you know. That was always our uh, number one goal, so we, uh, we just know that that's still something to look forward to, even though we couldn't get it done this year, you know, it goes to the Pac-12 championship. That's still a huge uh, accomplishment for the season. So I feel like uh, since that was taken away from us, we got to at least try to uh, just end the season on some type of high. Three weeks, yeah, now that we're, that's in the past. Just when, can you pinpoint a time when everyone just kind of moved past the Apple Cup loss and really started to look more like what's still on the table, what's left to play for? Uh, I mean, if I said that, I said right then, it would be lying. But uh, the next day, honestly, you know, the next day, move forward mentality, you know, what happened, happened. Uh, it's football. You never know what's going to happen when you go out there. So. Assuming everything goes well in San Antonio, just what would getting that 11th win mean to you individually? Um, personally, uh, I want to do it for my teammates and, my senior, and the seniors, you know, the guys we have on the team. You know, um, I still have time left here, you know, those guys know. So to so have those guys, my brothers, be a part of something so memorable for me, uh, I think that would be a great, great thing. How does how does Iowa State look to you guys on the film? Do they have a, a, a young quarterback that's been pretty effective, a, a really good receiver, and then a pretty good running back too? Oh uh, yeah, I haven't I haven't watched too much. I, we watched a little bit. Um, you know, they look they look decent. I, I can't really say right now because I like I said I haven't watched too much, but um, they uh, kind of remind me a lot of a uh, couple of teams we played. You know, they're just their style with eleven and then the twelve personnel. And then how the old line kind of moves. So I think I think uh, we should be fine. Teams in the Pac-12 that you guys have played. Yeah. Which one specifically? Specifically, uh, a little bit of Utah, just as far as old line schemes and things of that nature go. Oregon State a little bit too. I, I kind of seen. Uh, yeah, just just with how they blocked and the techniques they blocked. With. Growing up in the Midwest, do you have a, a, a particular awareness of Iowa State? Did you have a, an idea of what they were about? Uh, yeah, you know, uh, Michigan and Iowa aren't really far, so uh, Iowa and Iowa State were always kind of just right there, and if not watching the game, seeing the logos and stuff like that, so, you know, it is cool to finally you play against them. San Antonio is a, or excuse me, San Diego is a cool town, but is it, is it nice to go somewhere different this whole season than, over, than compared to the past two years? Yeah, well, uh, I'm a true sophomore, so last year was actually my first bowl, but a lot of the guys, you know, are happy to be at a different bowl and uh, experience new things. And the Holiday Bowl is a great bowl, but uh, just to get a uh, get a different feel, you know. Yeah, it is nice. <laughs>